Well, hey everybody, it's Chuck. Welcome back. Well, we have FSD 14.1. Can you believe it? It's here. Let's start off with the software version. Uh, this is on my Model Y AI4. I did not get it on the Cybertruck yet. And uh, the first thing I want you to recognize is that the uh, actual FSD version that was downloaded is FSD 14.1, and it's still on the 32 branch, 2025-32.8.5. Uh, with a navigation data of 2025.20-15489. Um, that's all I have. I don't have anything else to say. I was in advanced mode and the software was available on my phone. I did not have to go and manually download it. So that's the software version we're starting out with um, here on the AI4 Model Y. First thing I want to talk about, and let's go up and look at the release notes. Uh, the release notes are, have a lot of detail in them. And... Um, 14.1 is the first thing to notice. Full self-driving supervised 14.1 includes added arrival options, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for you to select where FSD should park in a parking lot, on the street, in a driveway, in a parking garage, or at the curbside. Uh, adding additional pullover of yield emergency vehicles. This is new. Uh, so deciding where to park and pull over for emergency vehicles are the top two release notes they added here, which I think are noteworthy. Probably the biggest uh, improvements here, uh, in my opinion. But knowing how to begin and end the drive has been one of my major complaints for a long, long time. Um, they added navigation and routing into the vision-based network for real-time handling of blocked roads and detours. I do believe this is different than version 13.2.9, where it was essentially using map data to avoid detours. Now I believe vision-based is gonna see something and do something around uh, that data. Improve handling for static and dynamic gates. Think railroad crossings, um, neighborhood entrance gates. Perhaps even my little chain on my Memorial Park test will be improved here also. Uh, offsetting for road debris. <clears throat> it doesn't say potholes here, but it does talk about tires, tree branches, boxes, uh, and things like that. So hopefully uh, it'll give a little bit more of an offset and see them sooner. Improve handling of several scenarios, including unprotected turns. Yay, there's my turn listed in the release notes again. Uh, turn changes, vehicle cut-ins, and school buses. School buses is a big one here, right? Is this behavior around stop signs on the school buses, just generally treating them with the kid gloves? Uh, and also, it, this is a little harder to test without looking like a stalker. Um, so school buses is something we'll have to keep an eye on um, and just to see if the situation presents itself. Improved FSE's ability to manage system faults and recover smoothly from degraded operation and enhance reliability. This is an important one because the safety degraded mode in any aircraft or any car with a system that's driving you, how it handles failures is an important part of safety. Right now, we just get the scary red hands that honestly is a little bit startling. I hope that that's what this is talking about, is to reduce the startle effect when something does happen um, to the FSD system. Obviously, managing the system faults and recover smoothly, to me, should mean pull over or something like if somebody wasn't in the car, what does the car do? Um, and things like that. Added alerting for uh, residue buildup on the interior windshield. This is the old windshield wiper problem and more uh, prominent on the Cybertruck perhaps, uh, but it's telling you to go visit service, which isn't a great answer for a problem like this, but at least it's adding alerting for residual buildup. Typically this comes from um, the fog that comes from plastic, uh, you know, in a new car, it kind of can um, manifest itself on the inside of the windshield where you can't really get at it. I have cleaned this uh, on my own before. It's a little bit tricky. So if you're not a very good DIYer, be careful uh, cleaning your own inside of your camera housing. Overall smoothness and sentience. There's that word sentience uh, that Elon has used a couple times before. Uh, there it is. And parking lot selection and parking quality will improve. Those are new things that aren't here. All right, let's go to arrival options. Essentially, we've got uh, the ability of selecting what to look for when you get at your destination. So think of a parking lot, street, driveway, curbside. This is where RoboTaxi is going to get some clues as to where to pull over. If this is for RoboTaxi, or maybe this is just for us. Uh, maybe this is for, you know, pulling into the driveway. I have never had the car pull into my driveway here, even with a good pin location. Some people have said they have had that before. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of an improvement here. Uh, speed profiles have changed to add sloth mode. Really don't know what the use of sloth mode was. I didn't find myself using chill mode ever, but somehow they decided they needed a sloth mode here to go even slower than chill, it says. So uh, we'll have to see if sloth actually is slower than chill or if chill just is a little bit better of a mode than standard. 
in some situations, not really sure there. But a big change here is that the right scroll wheel um, adjusts the speed profile setting, not the max speed that a lot of people were using before. So taking away that capability of adjusting your max speed is kind of a big deal for some. So we'll have to see how they've implemented that uh, for other uh, ways of changing the max speed. If at all, maybe they're just sort of saying we're taking that capability away from you while you're in FSD, which is fine because the RoboTaxi is going to need to do that anyway. But that is kind of what I'm pulling from these release notes here on the speed profile selection. Um, <clears throat> Anything else in here I want to mention? Driver profile, stronger impact on uh, behavior. The behavior word is an important when they're on that third or second bullet. We have never seen the speed profile actually change you know, the aggressiveness or the way it turns. So I, I need to determine if that's mostly about speed or if it actually does change behavior. UI improvements here. Uh, start self-driving with a tap of the touch screen from park or any time during your drive. Um, this is just kind of taking away the double click a little bit, using the screen a little bit more to turn it on, uh, probably a little bit more button control. So in the back seat as a robo taxi, you have more capability to use it. Brake confirm is going away. So they're taking away a little bit of the safety checks here. It is a selection you can uh, select in the screen uh, if you still want that mode. And then some release notes there at the bottom just to talk about what FSD means. Now we're gonna to go to the autopilot page here. And here's what we see. If you notice, uh, under autopilot features, full self-driving supervised is the only options. Um, and uh, the speed profile is selected to standard. You can also select it here. Expanded full self-driving visualization is right underneath it. <coughs> um, and I was just selecting there, changing modes um, from one to another in that uh, selection. No change to the expanded full self-driving visualization. And uh, as we come down the screen, actual smart summon looks the same. I don't think I see any other changes down here at the bottom worth mentioning. Everything else looks the same. If you see something, make a comment below. Uh, but Traffic Aware Cruise Control and Auto Steer being available in an upcoming software release is kind of a big change. And this is a little bit more towards where the Cybertruck is, right? The Cybertruck has never had TAC or Auto Steer, only FSD. Um, and when you tap on the FSD I there, it's just talking about the, uh, the responsibility and continuing and allowing your camera to record you. Uh, and then, of course, there's your brake confirm selection if you want that choice to double check that uh, you're going into FSD. So, yeah, there's all the features on autopilot. Uh, I think that um, it's pretty straightforward. I think we need to get out and do a safety drive and see where it goes.